Hello, my name is Dan Smith, and I'm the ASTM International Staff Manager for Committee E50 on Environmental Assessment, Risk Management, and Corrective Action. Welcome to a brief introduction of ASTM International's Committee E50, its recently approved E2600, Standard Practice for Assessment of Vapor Intrusion into Structures on Property Involved in Real Estate Transactions, and the E2600 Training Program, designed to assist all stakeholders on the content and use of the standard. ASTM is a not-for-profit organization that provides a forum for the development and publication of voluntary consensus standards for materials, products, systems, and services. Formed in 1990, Committee E50 comprises a balanced collection of more than 1,000 stakeholders, including engineers, environmental professionals, realtors, lawyers, bankers, government, and academia. Vapor intrusion from contaminated soil and groundwater into structures can potentially create significant liability and have a material impact on property value. Because of this, accurately determining whether a property has vapor intrusion issues is a concern for property owners, prospective purchasers, and environmental professionals conducting due diligence. ASTM E2600 was developed to define good commercial and customary practice for conducting a vapor intrusion assessment on a property parcel involved in a real estate transaction. This practice is intended for use on a voluntary basis by parties who wish to conduct a vapor intrusion assessment on a parcel of real estate to ultimately determine whether it poses or may pose an unacceptable risk to human health. The evaluation process as described in E2600, consists of four screening tiers. The first two screening tiers are used to assess the potential for a vapor intrusion issue to exist, so that properties with a low risk can be screened out quickly and inexpensively. The third tier provides for more site-specific and comprehensive investigations if the potential for vapor intrusion cannot reasonably be eliminated at the tier one, tier two levels while Tier 4 addresses mitigation alternatives. In addition to the details of the vapor intrusion assessment process, E2600 covers non-scope considerations, legal background on federal and state liability for vapor intrusion, guidance on suggested qualifications for the environmental professionals conducting the assessments, the recommended report format for the assessment, important federal and state references, and much more. For information about joining Committee E50 and to purchase a copy of E2600, visit the ASTM website at www.astm.org. The E2600 training course will review the rationale behind the standards development, the tiered methodology used, and the implications for environmental professionals involved in conducting property environmental due diligence. The screening methodology associated with Tier 1 and Tier 2 of the standard will be reviewed in detail and will also include case studies. The specific learning goals of the new course are for students to gain an understanding of the market driving forces for conducting a vapor intrusion assessment in a real estate transaction, learn how to conduct a vapor intrusion screening to identify potential vapor intrusion conditions in accordance with E2600, learn what can be done to confirm a vapor intrusion condition at a property, and what can be done to mitigate the problem. This new course is ideal for Phase 1 environmental consultants, property lenders, real estate attorneys, property developers, property investors, property owners and managers, and property insurers. The cost for this one-day course is $449 U.S. dollars and includes copies of E2600, course notes, case studies, and a free one-year membership in ASTM Committee E50. To obtain a free brochure, contact Eileen Finn at ASTM International by phone at 610-832-9686 or by email at efinn at astm.org.